Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Kimelda. I am Nassol. Good evening. How are you tonight? Lord, how are you tonight? Um, como le dijeron? Raúl. Is it um, so so? Um, I don't know what. No good. Ah, okay, not so good. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that, right? So, hello, Aida Marisol. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Es suave. Um, hello, now I can listen you very well. Now, can you listen to me? Yes, I escucho. Sí, ah, okay. Okay, thank you so much. <clears throat> Kevin Eduardo. Sí, ahora sí le escuchamos mejor. Bueno, no sé si será mi internet. Hello. Uh, welcome, Abel. No problem. Kevin Eduardo. Welcome, José Blanco. Welcome to the class. Okay. How are you today? How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm very good. <laughs> Thanks for asking me. <coughs> It seems that my internet is too slow tonight, right? Uh, okay. Uh, can you listen well? Can you listen? ¿Me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you so much. Yes. Okay. So welcome again to the class. It's nice to see you tonight. Uh, I'm so happy, right? We are going to start another week today. And we're going to start section number four, right? And I hope that you have had a great score in the meter exam, right? And also in the section number three. So for this week, our work is section number four. We have to complete that section during this week, okay? So that is our mission for this week, to complete the section number four. And that is the topic that we're going to start tonight. What does she look like? That is the topic of section number four. Eh, ¿Cómo se ve ella? So there are two ways to describe a person. Hay dos maneras de describir una persona. And the first one is physical appearance and the other one is feelings, right? Feelings, personality. For tonight, we are going to learn how to describe a physically to a person. So do you know some adjective that we use to describe a person? Do you remember some adjective that we can use to describe a person? Anybody remember any? Anybody remember any adjective to describe people? Let's see, for example, how do you say guapo, guapa in English? He's handsome. Handsome for men? Handsome. I have white and beautiful. What we have? He is beautiful, tall. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Very good. I can tell you from my personal then. Handsome, we use handsome, beautiful, tall, short, attractive, well built, eh, medium height, uh, average height. So we use this adjective to describe people, right? How do they look? Como se miran las personas? So let's start with this topic. Welcome to section number four. Congratulations for your work in section number one, two, and three. You are doing great. So we are almost, we are in the middle, right? We are in the middle of the course. So we need to continue learning. The, and this topic is going to be in the final exam. So we need to solve the exercises on the platform, right? To get ready for the final exam. So what does she look like? Uh, welcome to the class number nine. I am sharing with you my screen. Can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's start with this. Uh, this is the lesson objective for tonight. In this session, participants will learn vocabulary for describing people in adjective of appearance. So describe people and learn some objectives, right? To describe people's appearance. That is our goal for tonight. And let's start with this, right? So look at this as we have a hair, age, and height. So we are going to learn objective to describe these three things. So the first one is hair, right? Um, one of the things that we look to another person is his or her hair. So hair objective are the following. We can say long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald uh, mustache, and beard. Eight, eight, that is another aspect that we look for another people, right? See if the person is young, middle age, or elderly. Looks handsome, good looking, and pretty. Handsome, good looking, or pretty. Then height, short, or fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, or very tall. These are the adjectives that we are going to use to describe people. So let's listen then. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, tonight let's start describing ourselves. Empecemos describiendo a nosotros mismos. Veamos en el cabello. ¿Cuál de esos adjetivos describe su cabello? Long brown hair, long black hair, short blonde hair, stripe black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache, and a beard. Any volunteer to start? ¿Cómo es su cabello? My hair is brown and um, it's wavy. Okay, very good. Long, wavy, uh, long brown and wavy hair. That is great. Wavy brown hair. That is right. Wavy brown hair. Very good, Flor. Thank you. Aida Marisol. My hair is brown and wavy. Uh, Stripe black hair. Okay, excellent. Good. Cabello largo y liso. Jose Blanco, tell me about your hair. And I am, um, I am short, brown hair. Okay, my hair is short. My hair is short, brown hair. Very good. My hair. Maria Magdalena, tell me about your hair. Well, 
Uh, good evening. My hair is sure brown and curly. Oh, thank you so much. So you say uh, curly, brown, and short. Nice. Curly, short, brown hair. Curly, short, brown hair. Perfect. And Jose Daniel, tell me about your hair. I have curly black hair. Curly black hair. Okay, thank you. So um, in this part, we have two options, right? We have the verb to be and we have the verb to have to describe a person. So you can say, my hair is, or you can say, I have, I have curly red hair, or my hair is curly red. So we can use the verb to be and the verb to have. So let's go with age. So we have John, middle age, and elderly. Joven, de una edad promedio, ¿verdad? Y anciano, elderly. And looks, handsome, good looking, and pretty. And then height, estatura, we have short, fairly short, eh, bastante pequeño, medium height, estatura promedio, pretty tall, alto, y very tall, muy alto. Okay, so let's continue hair. with this. Long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard. Age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, keep in mind, please, this vocabulary. We are going to do this later. So look at this is my conversation. She is very tall. And look at the picture. She's very tall. How can we describe this girl? The girl in light sweater and blue and jeans, blue jeans. Is she beautiful? Yes, she is. Okay, look at her. Is she beautiful? How is her hair? Como es su cabello? She has a straight long hair. Long hair. Okay. She has a straight uh, brown hair. Okay, nice. And look at this guy. Is he handsome? Yes, he is. Okay, probably yes, he is, right? And how do you call this? How do you call this? He has oh, a mustache. Mustache and beard. Oh, and beard. Oh, in a mustache. Very good. Very now, good. what about this hair? Oh. Is she short? Is she short? No, she's tall. No, she isn't. She's tall. Very nice. And what about her hair? Does he have a long hair? She has a short hair, a short red hair. Okay, she has short brown hair, very good. Now listen, uh, which one do you think is his girlfriend? ¿Cuál de las dos será la novia de este joven? What do you think? Try to guess. Eh, la de pensamiento. Ah, okay. La de pelo rojo. Mm, okay. Her... She... She's a uh, red hair. Oh, she, she's red hair? Uh, probably it's... not right, right? It look like brown or red. Teacher, es que okay. todas se echan en rojo y se les hace anaranjado, se les hace colorico. Por eso es que a veces el tono es rojo, pero no todas les pega rojo. Pero estas son pelirrojas quizás de nación, ya nativa. Pues. 
okay, probably, probably right and she is from the United States, right? And the United States, red hair is very common, right? And so let's listen the conversation and let's find out who's the who's his girlfriend. Descubramos quién es la novia de este chico. Okay, let's see here we go. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Any new vocabulary in this small conversation? Gorgeous, for example, what is it? And she's gorgeous. What does he mean? Es, she's es como hermosa. Espléndida. Es como espléndida. Oh. Como, es... Gorgeous es como muy bonita. That is Ajá, gorgeous. Muy esplend... Esplendorosa, And no. That could be, right? Alguien que es muy bonito. Gorgeous. Uh -huh. Muy atractivo. So, really, what does she look like? Well, she is very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has a beautiful red hair. Aida was right. You see, she has red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Mm, okay, let's stop here. Is that true that women doesn't like? That a no sabe le da. Like to say uh, her age. Es cierto que no le gusta decir la edad. Is that true? How do you feel when somebody asks your age? ¿Cómo se siente cuando alguien les pregunta su edad? Normal. Okay, we men feel normal, right? We, uh, what about women? <laughs> How do you feel? When someone say, oh, "How old are you?" Now, in English, is because someone we need to practice. Someone right? like to say. <laughs> oh, okay, some women don't like to say, right? What is her age? Okay, and that is okay, right? That's okay. So, no new vocabulary in this small conversation. Okay, nice. Then I need to volunteer just to practice in this one. Who wants? Who wants to participate? Me. Anybody Did want? You? Thank you, Abel. I have Abel and I have Randy and I need Emily. Who wants? Any volunteer? Okay, I'm going to choose Aida Marisol. Can you help me, please? Okay. Hey, yo Emily. Está, Aida. Yes. Emily, ¿verdad? Yes. Hey. I heard you have a new girlfriend with Randy. Yes. Her name is Ashley. And she's your use. Really? What does she look like? Well, she is pretty tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that's it tall. What color is her hair? Hair? She has very beautiful red hair. And how? How old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, thank you. That was excellent. Nice. Ah, uh, gorgeous. Gorgeous is the word. Listen again. Listen again, please. Gorgeous. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. 
Okay, then the word was gorgeous. Thank you for your help in this I hear you have a new conversation. Girl. Okay, now let's see. We have general appearance adjectives. So we can use the to use, we can use the following adjective to describe people's general appearance, right? So we say beautiful, pretty, elegant, cute, handsome, gorgeous, attractive, ugly, and good looking, right? Um, so beautiful and pretty and also cute are mostly used for women right? to describe women's physical appearance. And for men, so we can use handsome or uh, gorgeous and attractive, right? And ugly, of course. <laughs> That's not true. Generalmente, este adjetivo is negativo, but let's say ugly to somebody, right? And we don't use it too much. Right? So good looking. Podemos utilizar good looking, right? En lugar de decir feo, decimos he is not very attractive. Él no es muy atractivo. Oh, he isn't very good looking. Él no se mira muy bien. Pero generalmente ugly no se ocupa. Es como ser un poco unpolite, right? Un poco mal educado, decirle a alguien feo. So ugly. So we can use um, he is no so handsome, right? Or he is an attractive, he is in gorgeous. So again, we have beautiful, pretty, elegant, cute, handsome, gorgeous, attractive, ugly, and good looking for physical or general appearance. Right? When you just look for somebody and you say, wow, she's pretty. Wow, he is attractive. Oh, wow, he's handsome, right? She is elegant. He's elegant, so he is very good looking. Uh, that is general appearance. Then we use body build, la forma del cuerpo, or slim, alguien que es esbelto, thin, delgado, skinny, muy delgado, chubby, eh, gordito, slender, esbelto también, muscular. Los que van al gym, ¿verdad? Y tienen definido los músculos, o sea, muscular. Then well built, uh, un cuerpo bien, verdad, bonito, se marcado los músculos, that is well built. Then we have fat or obese, right? Uh, gordo o obeso, sería la contraparte. So we have slim, thin, skinny, chubby, slender, muscular, well built, fat and obese. And also we have describing age, describiendo la edad. So we have all young, middle age, and we can use this phrase, right? In his or in her 20s. Si alguien tiene de los 20 a los 29 años, we say in his or her 20s. Si alguien tiene de los 40, right? En adelante, we say 40s, hasta los 50, 50s. Y así, ¿verdad? 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Cuando solo calculamos la edad, él debe estar en su 20, dice. Y, eh, he is in his 20s. Oh, he, she is right in her 20s. And then we have adult and teenager. Adulto y adolescente. Teenager. Okay. Then I need a volunteer, please, to read this vocabulary. Who wants to participate reading this vocabulary words? For general appearance. Anybody? Thank you, Thank you so much. Let's do it, please. Beautiful, pretty, elegant, cute, handsome, gorgeous, attractive, ugly, good looking. Excellent. Thank you very much for your head in this part. Then, body build active. Any volunteer? Anybody? One, two, three, four. Maria Magdalena, can you help me, please? Yes. Um, pretty feel. Slim, thin, skinny, shabby, slender, muscular, well-built, fat, and obese. 
Thank you. And the last volunteer, describing age. Anybody? Kevin, can you please? Yes, teacher. Uh, first old, young, middle age, is right, right? Yes, middle age, yes. Middle, middle age, in his 20s, in her 20s, in his 40s, in her 40s, adult, ten, ten year. teenager. Adult, teenager. Teenager. Teenager, adult, yes. Adult yes. teenager. Thank you. Okay, now what does she look like? And uh, look at this beautiful girl and read the examples. So she's pretty, she's slender. How old is she? She is in her 20s. How tall is she? She's very tall. How long is her hair? It's long. So I need two volunteers in this part, one to read the equation and the other one to read the sentences describing this girl. Two volunteers, please. I'm gonna choose Abel and Jose Daniel. Can you help me? Okay, the question or yeah. answer? Mm. Abel, the question and Jose, the answer, please. Okay. What does she do like? She's pretty. She's slender. How old is she? She's in her, she's in her 20s. How tall is she? She's very tall. How long is her hair? It's long. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we are describing this here, right? We say she's pretty, she's slender, she's in her 20s, she's very tall and uh, her hair is long. She has a long hair. Then let's go with the next example. Okay, what does he look like? And we have here the sentences describing this man. So I need the volunteers again. I'm gonna choose, let me see who, ¿Sí? Maria. Okay, thank you, Flor. And Maria Martinez, can you please? Yes, I can. Okay, Maria, you're going to read the question and Flor, you're going to read the answers. Can you describe this man, please? Let's do it. What does he look, he, he look like? He elegant, elegant. he fit. How old is he? He is in his 70s. He is old. How tall is he? He is tall. How long is he? He is he hair? Is he long? How long is he hair? He is short. Okay, it's short. Okay. Very good. So the first question, so, what does? What does he look like? What does he look like? What does he look like? He's, he's elegant, he's fit. How old is he? That he's in he his seventies. Oh. What, what does he, he look like? Oh. Look. What does he look like? Did he's elegant, he's fit. How old is he? He's in his 70s. He's old. How tall is he? He's short. How long is his hair? It's short. And I have another this example, but at this time you are going to answer the question. So look at these pictures. It is a man there. What does he look like? Any volunteer to answer this question? What does he look like? Look at the picture and tell me. What does he look like? So general appearance. Me hey, teacher. Tell me. Um he 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 looks uh tall and handsome and he 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 ha he has he has um short short black hair.
Excellent sentences. Thank you. So you say he is handsome. He is tall. He has black short hair. Short black hair. Sorry, short black hair. And he has a beard and a mustache. So how long is his hair? Is the second question. How long is his hair? Then is it long or short? He has short. He has short. He has short hair, right? So, so what color is his hair? Black hair. Black hair. His hair okay, is black. He, he, okay, He's his black hair, hair is black. Okay, his hair is black. Thanks. Black. How tall is he? How tall is he? How tall he is, is he? He's tall. Okay, he is very tall. He's tall. Mm, long tall. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, he's tall. Right? How old is he? How old is he? He's younger. He is. He's young. We can say he's young. He's young. He is in his. He's turning. There is. There is, right? Probably there is or 20s could be too, right? 20s or there is. Nice. Let's go with the next exercise. Yeah, look at this. I'm sort of the following question. What does she look like? It's the first question. What does she look like? How long is her hair? What color is her hair? How tall is how tall is she and how old is she? She is uh brown hair. Hmm, she said, yeah, her hair is brown or she has brown hair. Brown hair. Yeah. And also, it's long. It's long brown hair. Yes. It's long. It's long. It looks it's long. Uh, in general appearance, is she beautiful? Is she attractive? Is she fat? Is she thin? Is she slender? What does she look like? You think you say she is short, she is tall. ¿Cuáles adjetivos podemos utilizar? She is medium height. She is medium slender t-shirt. Mm. Slender. Probably a little chubby, right? Se ve un poquito gordita, rellenita. So chubby, we say chubby in this case. And okay, say medium height. Estatura promedio, medium height too. And she is beautiful too. So how long is her hair? It's long. What color is her hair? You say brown, right? You say she has brown mm -hmm. hair. Brown. brown. How tall is she? Mm, she is medium height. Right? Medium. I give you the answer. Medium height. Medium. medium. High. medium. How? medium now the next question. How old is she? Is she's twenty-five years old. Twenty. Twenty-five years old. He's. She is in her twenties or. She is 25 years old. That is another good answer. Very good job. Now let's continue with this. Okay, now look at this group of people here. Okay, look at this group of people. So choose one of them and describe him or her. Everybody choose one. I 
I will give you two minutes for you to say sentences about these people here. So choose one of them. Choose one, look at him or her and think about some sentences to describe this person. Just in the object that we have been studying in the class. So anybody is ready? Anybody wants to try? Tell me some sentences to describe a person in this One picture. Is curly hair. Mm, okay, you say he. He is curly hair. No, she. Ah, okay, very good. She has curly hair. Excellent sentences. Yes, she has curly hair. You are right. She has curly hair. Uh, which of the guys? This one or this one? The one Both in... Teacher. Both of them are curly? Yes. 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 Okay, that is great. Okay, uh, let me see. Somebody choose this girl. Alguien escogió esta chica? Nobody? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me at least three sentences describing her? Okay. She's uh, pretty. She has long hair. Um, she is um, 26 years old. Okay, excellent sentences. Thank you so much. And what about her height? Is she tall? What do you think? Is she tall? She's medium. Oh, medium height. She's medium height. And what about the body build? Is she thin, skinny, slender, slim, or chubby? You think? Okay, she is a thing. Very good job. Thank you so much. So anybody choose this boy? Anybody? The girl in yellow pants. And the girl in yellow pants hair. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, she looks funny. Uh, she has long black hair. She is tall. And she has brown skin. And she is in her tears. That's it. Okay. Excellent sentences. And what about the body build? Is she slim? Is she shabby? Is she slender? Uh, she is slim. She's slim. Yes, you are right. Thank you so much. Very good sentences. That was great. Uh, anybody? Anybody choose this boy? Nobody choose him. And what about this girl? Anybody choose this girl? Okay, let's see. Then let's go with the next picture. Probably you are going to choose somebody in the next one. Okay, look at this group. So again, choose one of them. And I'm going to ask you. You have two minutes to have sentences about one of these people. So choose one, please. Uh, 
um, maybe can be they they are so smiling. Mm, okay, as a group, they see that they are very happy, right? In this picture, uh, all of them are smiling. A oh, very good observation. They are so happy. Probably their project was accepted. Or their salary was increased. Quizás le subieron el salario en la oficina. That's why they are so happy. Okay. Uh, is somebody ready? This is small. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, cool. Who is small? Hmm? This girl? This is small. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. In short, we use short to talk about height. She is short. She is short. Short. She is short. Yes, she is short. Thank you. Very good sentence. She is short. Okay, let's start with this. Anybody choose this guy? The next, the next one. She's a. She's a. It's a. Brown hair. It's a brown hair. He a... has brown skin. He is. He's a handsome. He's handsome. He's a... He's a... Is correct there. Mm. Es que no 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 Let's start uh, after Aida with Maria Magdalena. Maria Magdalena, which one did you choose? Um, I repeat, please. Uh, which girls or boy did you choose? Choose this one. Uh, no, the Next to she, yes, she okay. Tell me some sentences describing this girl, please. Okay, um, she's thin, she is short, she has a uh, short hair. And she has um, black hair. And I think okay. she's beautiful. Okay, thank you so I much for your think she's very young. Oh, she's very young too. Okay, nice. Uh, does she have uh, brown hair? I think it's black. I can see very well, sir. Really? Okay, she's in white. She has white skin, as I can see here. But thank you so much for your sentences. You did an excellent job. Uh, okay, let's see the last one. Yeah, I'm gonna, any volunteer? Just to finish in this activity? Hey, teacher. Thank you so much. Tell me, who did you choose? 
he, she, he. Uh, he. He. Okay, excellent. Uh, Tell me. Yes. Uh, uh, he, he is a black man. Uh, he, he is very tall. He has a short, short black, black hair. Um, he has a cute uh, clothes. Um, he is so happy. Uh, he is a good, uh, good, good job, good jobber. No, right? Mm. O sea, buen trabajador. Ah, okay. He is an excellent worker. Ah, oh, worker. Yes. Okay. That's all, teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for your participation in this activity. And now it's your turn. I'm going to divide the class in small groups and then going to work describing your your classmates, okay? Let me see, tonight we are nine people. So let's see, group of three people, right? We are going to make two groups and you're going to describe your classmate. For this activity, you have to turn on your camera. Tienen que encender su cámara para que sus compañeros puedan verle y puedan hacer las oraciones, okay? So let me see. What is it? Okay, two groups. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me a second. Okay, here we go. So with your classmate in the small group, you are going to practice, right? You are going to say sentences describing uh, him or her. Se van a describir. Por ejemplo, uh, Aida queda en el grupo de María Magdalena y María Martínez. Entonces, eh, se van, van a tomar turnos para ir diciendo oraciones, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Se van a ir. Primero, descríbanse ustedes. ¿Ok? Descríbanse. Utilicen los adjetivos. I am. Cuando nos describimos a nosotros mismos, utilizamos I am. I am eh, tall. I am short. Y también utilizo I have. I have long hair. I have black hair. I have a curly hair. So we are going to use this adjective in this sentence to describe ourselves. Are you ready? Yes? Well, hope you're ready. Here we go. Yes. Enjoy your practice with your classmates. Imelda Xiomara, 
por ahí le aparece un mensajito para que pueda unirse a los grupos con sus compañeros. Sabe que están grabando más beautiful. Mm. Ah, thank you. Um, and medium height. Vea que sí, <laughs> cuéntame. <laughs> Oh, no, 61. Apenas. Ah, yo también. No sé, sé no, yo soy más chiquita que esa entonces porque creo que tenía unos 58. Estamos iguales, miren. Uh -huh. Ni tan chiquita ni tan grande. En inglés, please. Sí. Miren, hi. She is Miriam, hi, teacher. Two. Okay, um, that is great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's one point. Feet, se puede fit, or no? No vea porque no son pies, son. No, no son pies, teacher. Sorry, son centímetros. We say meters, meters. We use meter in the United States. They use feet, pies. Y nosotros utilizamos metros, uh -huh. meters. So you say 1.6 uh -huh. meters. Or 1.65 meters. 65, 1, 68, medium. Sería, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Six bueno, serían, ¿verdad? Continúen, ¿verdad? She's yes. curly hair and long hair. She's beautiful. She's medium high. Um, what about her hair? What color is curly. her hair? How long oh, is her hair? Oh, she's color. She is curly hair and long hair. And the color is brown. It's brown. brown. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Okay. Brown Entonces, ahora le toca a María escribir hair. a Aida Marisol. Bueno, luego les pregunto en la reunión general. She has black hair. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. Okay. You. See you in a minute. Aida. Thank you. Okay. Y nos tenemos que ir. Oh, aquí está el teacher. Bien. No, aquí está el teacher. Hello, okay. teacher. Hello, good evening, Kevin. Good evening, María. How are you? Hello, I am. Hi, and you? I'm very good. Thanks. How is the practice? Did you finish? Um, little state. state. <laughs> Ah, okay, so, ah, okay, that is great. So step by step, and that is great. So let's see, um, which adjective have you used? ¿Cuáles adjetivos han utilizado? Ahorita, es que como nos estábamos describiendo primeramente, o sea, hablando, y, y ahorita estamos como eh, ya escribiéndolo. Mm, okay. Pero, eh, ah. o sea, ahorita que tengo, eh, eh, vaya, primero sería eh, I am sure, 
uh, I I have I have bright skin. Uh, I have curly black hair. Uh, I am I am twenty four years old. Uh, and she, uh, she is tall. Uh, she has a long, long black hair. Uh, she has bright skin. And uh, this all for a moment, teacher. Oh, that is excellent. Very good sentences. I can see that you have been working. I will give you two minutes more, okay? You have two minutes more to complete this, and then we are going to go with the rest of your class. Okay, continue working. Thank you so much for your sentences. Okay, hey, teacher. Thank you. Thanks. He is only he is elegant, he is skinner, he is young, he, he is old okay. to 29. He is 29. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que ah, le... bueno. Uh -huh. bueno. Hi, yeah. Hello. Hello, guys. Are you ready? Not ready yet. Uh, you are not ready yet? Uh, okay, but I don't know. Right, right, right? Do you have any sentences there? Let's yes. see, for example. Six six seven, let... okay. Ah, okay, that what? is right. So let's describe Lord Ramos. Bye. He is only, he is elegant, he is skinner, he is young, he is all 29. He short. Okay, uh, the second sentence. He is. What? What? La, la segunda, the second, the second sentence. He is elegant. Oh, he is elegant. And the next, uh -huh. he is. La he siguiente. Skinner. 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 Uh, okay. Skinny. 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 Skinny es muy delgado. Skinny. Es que no es así. Yo lo... <laughs> La cámara engaña. Ah, ok. Sí, sí. He's skinny. Pero skinny es skinny. muy delgadito. Es muy delgadito. Entonces ah. podemos cambiarlo por thin. Él, él es thin. delgado. Thin. Yes, ah, sí. he's thin. thin. Él es delgado. Ok, see you in a okay. minute with the rest of your classmates. Les vengo un minutito. Hello, Maria Magdalena. Hello, Imelda Sumara. Hello, Abel. Welcome again. Aida, welcome. Maria Martinez, welcome back to the class. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where are the other three? Okay, anybody wants to share the sentences with your classmate? So, Maria Magdalena, we're working with Aida. Anyone? Yes. Okay, yes. tell me some sentences. Yes, okay. Tell you me and me, sentences. Maria. Yes. Okay. Um, she, she is named Maria Magdalena. She is beautiful. 
She is curly hair and long hair. The, she is color, the color hair is brown. She is thin. She is medium high. She is in her 20. Do you have another sentence? Yes. That's Six. it. Sí, that's, that's it. it. Okay, Six. excellent. Very good sentences. Ah, okay. Uh, so in the principle, she has, she has curly hair. Ah, okay. She has, she has brown hair. The rest of the sentence were excellent. Thank you so much. Now let's listen, Kevin. We're working with Maria Martinez and also Emelda Xiomara. So anybody wants to say some sentences? Hurry up, please. Anybody? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Maria. Describe Kevin. Kevin he is. Kevin is short. He is bright skin. He hair is hair is short and color black. This is his kind. Okay, thank you so much. Excellent sentences. And then Abel and Flor Ramos. Who wants to say some sentences? Okay, I don't know, Flor. ¿Qué usted dice? <laughs> Flor o Abel, come on, let's do it. You are the last one tonight. No sé si quiere Flor, si no, me. Okay. Um, she is beautiful. Uh, she has long hair and black hair. Um, she is fat. Um, she is 45 years old. I don't know, I forget the one. <laughs> okay, excellent sentences. Thank you. Um, just this one. She is fat. We say she's chubby. Okay, she's chubby. Uh, chubby, chubby, chubby. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for your sentences. And tomorrow we are going to continue, right? Uh, practicing how to describe a person, right? So we need to learn the correct use of the verb to be and has, right? Ahí nos estamos confundiendo un poquito cuando es is y cuando es has. But tomorrow we are going to practice a little bit more about this topic. Please don't forget about the exercises on the platform. Remember for this week, you have to complete the section number four. Okay, so do it, please. And let's start working on that, right? Thank you so much for your attention and for your participation during this class. Kevin, Abel, Imelda, Maria, Flor, Aida, and Maria Magdalena. Uh, have a good night and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. 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 B